Hey guys, what is up? It is Pieces of Prestige and I'm back again with Planet Coaster. Welcome to episode 8 of Building Prestige Heights in Planet Coaster. And in this episode, basically what we're going to do is we are going to expand a little bit on the modern theme. And we're going to actually, you know, what you can see right now is I'm building sort of a store right here. It's not really a store. It wasn't really meant to be a store, more like a game hall. Now, basically what you have in theme parks sometimes, you have these these toss games, you know, you get the basketball game where you can win your, you know, your stuffed animals and that kind of stuff. And I thought like, you know what, I kind of need some of those stalls in my park. And I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and do it here. So I tried to do, you know, a structure that's a little bit different from the regular buildings that I have built in this area right here. We've built the, um, the resort and I'm still kind of figuring out a name and about names, by the way, uh, really quick. Blue Wrath is an awesome name for the coaster. I'm not really sure if I'm actually pronouncing that right. I hope I am. Um, but basically, that's what the coaster is named. Uh, I want to thank you guys for the awesome names. You know, there was there were some really cool ones in there actually. And for the resort, I'm still not sure. It could just be something like uh, something like Prestige Resort. I don't know. Uh, we'll find that out. But basically, what I, what I was trying to do here with this building is build something a little bit different from what I, you know, routinely built. And um, I think it actually kind of worked out. I used the blue supports and some of the other pieces that are actually in the modern walls. And I think in the end it looked kind of cool. Now what you can see me do here is I built this little... Well, kind of... I wanted to build a toss game where the, you kind of throw a ball into a hole. And if you miss the, uh, the hole, basically the ball comes back. Uh, and that can only happen on the slope. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to build... Uh, I'm going to put one of those roofs right there. And then I'm just going to put these... Well, what they're almost like sewage outlets. I know they're re like really old school uh, windows, but I kind of feel like they're more like, you know, the sewage outlets. Um, but whatever. I put those there so it looks like you can toss something in it. I put a little bit of a counter there uh, where, where the peeps will stand at, basically. And there will be no peeps in this building. It's not really functional. It's just there for decoration. And I think in the end, I'm really happy with the way it looks. Um, you know, I tried to combine some different colors, well, basically only the, the blue and the uh, white, and also some of the brownish colors of the, um, the w like the shingles, and also the brown of the, um, the wooden supports, the wooden columns that I used for uh, foundation of the building. And I'm really, you know, again, with the steel roofs, it's, it's kind of all the same. I did it a little bit different with the actual, like, the, the slanted roof right there. But it's all kind of the same in this area. And I'm almost done with this area. Well, kind of, um, me, myself, I'm pretty much done with this area. Uh, right now, I really can't wait to get onto the next one. But of course, we gotta finish this one first. I think there might be like another episode of uh, the modern theme. And then we'll go on to the next theme. Now, I'm not sure what the theme will be. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I've tried to look at some different styles that you can implement in Planet Coaster. And basically, the options are almost limitless. We can do anything we want, and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to kind of getting new ideas out there, you know, trying to, you know, experiment a little bit and create something new that would be totally awesome. And yeah, so basically now just finishing up the area here, uh, I'm not really theming everything, I'm like putting stalls or like these buildings everywhere because I don't want that. I'm also just placing these decorative walls here and there with some lights on them, as you can see here. Uh, with some some bushes and shrubs and some trees behind it, you know, it's it's all just to make it look a little bit more like it's Just a passageway instead of being the main street And I don't really have a main street going on at all uh, But you do have this kind of central vein that you can go through uh, through the park right now so it basically goes from the entrance plaza to right here this junction actually where the uh, toss game is and it kind of goes off at an angle there towards this new plaza. Now this new plaza, I'm, you know, I kind of, I don't want the, the, the park to be one big spaghetti of different paths that you can take. I kind of want them to be central so that you can come back to one place and you can find your way throughout the entire park. And basically every time you want to go to a new area, you can take a shortcut or you can come back to the center of the park, which will be this area right here. Now, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep it this way with the weird fountain and the, you know, the planters right there and the, um, yeah, whatever. 
Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like this. I really want a central Ferris wheel, but I'm not sure where to place that yet. Um, it might be here, you know, like in close proximity to this area, this plaza area right here. Um, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see how, you know, it progresses a little bit. The theming of the coaster that will be there. Um, it might all get in the way of things, so we might have to place it somewhere else, maybe on the end of the very long path leading to the entrance, instead of like going branching off into this plaza, you can go forward and enter the ferris wheel. Uh, but I really want the ferris wheel to kind of have a, like, a central place in the park, so when you're actually in the ferris wheel, you can look all the way around inside of the cabin basically as a, uh, as a guest. And in every single direction you look, you'll see a like some kind of flat ride or roller coaster or theming or you know you you'll just see the park and you'll see the peeps and you'll see the, the pathways going and it's all really nice and or like organic shaped and that's what I really like about the path layouts in this game. You know you can you can basically come up with any sort of path system in your head and you can build them. And right now, actually, what I tried is someone told me like you should try to make a pond and use the blue. Um, the blue paths as water and I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it behind this little flat, uh, flat ride instead of making it um, at the resort and it actually worked out pretty nice I really like the way this this looks um, it's really funny that they actually made the blue path to be exactly like water I actually didn't know this I don't really have t uh, too much time on my hands you know to spend on um, doing research I guess uh, but I, I try to do as much as possible you know, it's it's also, um, yesterday there actually was no episode because there was a lack of time. I don't really want to produce content in a way that I have to rush things and then really, you know, when I really want to go to bed because I'm really tired, I don't want to record and get some crappy gameplay going with some crappy commentary. Uh, even though that actually might be the case, but right now I'm really doing my best to make this crappy. So, <laughs> that's that. You know, I, um, I try to make as many episodes as I can and sometimes I just don't make it. And you'll, you know, you have to wait till next day, I suppose. But you can follow my Twitter. Uh, I post on there pretty much every single time I make a video, and also when I'm producing a video. Uh, so you can, you know, know exactly when the next episode is coming. Link is down in the description down below. Alrighty. Now, right here, you can, I, you know, I tried to do something different. I don't want the same walls everywhere, and I use these, you know, you know the columns with the steel girder frame basically and it worked out pretty nice now here trying to make some sort of an you know some I don't know it's an archway that peeps go through just filling up the space with random pieces of scenery and somehow it really pays off you know it really looks like the pieces are actually meant to be there instead of just randomly placed and it's you know when it's I don't know when it's full it kind of feels like it's completed and you know that everything is the way it was meant to be because I kind of plan it out in my head as I go along I don't really you know normally when I build a park and roller coaster stack on 3 I'm like you know what I'm gonna build this path here and that's gonna lead to that area and in that area I'm gonna have this this and this and then that's gonna lead to the next area in that way and right now I really don't have that in this game because you can kind of just go along it's just really nice and not stressful at all because you don't have to worry about the next that you're gonna place because you can fill up the space anyhow you can fill it however you want and it looks well you know it mostly it looks pretty good all right so now theming the coaster a little bit uh, this is not gonna be the final theme of the coaster There's gonna be a lot more I hope uh, there's you know there's just things we can do with it uh, trying to make some tunnels and maybe some rocks here and there it's gonna be pretty awesome um, <laughs> But yeah, in this episode, it's kind of it's kind of just like a whole jungle of things that I did. It's just uh, it's not really structured. This one, I also recorded this in two steps. So basically, one last night and one this night, and then now I'm commentating it. Um, but I tried to do as much theming as possible, trying to fill up the area, and this is what I came up with. So what we have here is basically that stall that has the uh, the toss game, and you know this is how you look at it from the junction this is how you look at it from the front I really like the way that these these spots illuminate the ground as well these actually go pretty far the, the ones with the little arms on them and then on the inside you use some different colored lights uh, to give the effect that it's not all white and blue and I really like the way they turned out alright so that's you know that's gonna be concluding this episode so I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode so peace from pieces of prestige